Okay, okay. Let's do this. We're going to play some more Horizon Zero Dawn. I had a really good time uh, last time, two days ago. It was my first time ever playing it. Really cool game. Really beautiful. Uh, it's very nice on the PC, especially because I only have a PC. <laughs> I don't have a PlayStation. So I am very happy to finally be able to play it. Um, we're playing on medium mode. And uh, that was challenging enough for me, really. I oh, a rally, welcome. Yeah, that was challenging enough for me. We're gonna see if we can we can get a little bit better at it this time. We didn't do too badly, but there's a few uh, tweaks and changes and things I think I can do to survive a little bit better. We did die some, <laughs> so. <laughs> but that's good. I die for you, for your entertainment. So anyway, let's jump into it. Let's go ahead and get the game up. Wait for it to show up. There it is. Rising Zero Dawn. Lovely little background here with the stream flowing off the edge. What's up, everybody? What's up, Arali? How you doing today? Let's continue with this game. Oh, yeah. I'm a little unhydrated today, so I'm going to be drinking a lot of water. as we go along so last time what to start with we got introduced to aloy and her relationship with R rost as outcasts she went into the proving um after we spent some time uh, mastering beating up some robot dinosaurs and stuff and figuring out the whole crafting system and everything and here she is alloy she got to go into the proving which was going to allow her to finally join the tribe again. And in that, uh, she managed to win, which was going to give her special privileges to like make some request of whatever she wanted. But the whole tribe was ambushed at this point by a cult uh, tribe previous on Altimeter Null Sunrise. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, previously so yeah they were ambushed by this other tribe that all had the little bluetooth headsets that uh, Aloy has there so yeah that was quite a surprise and quite tragic they all probably about half the tribe at least got killed and these guys had the special ability of being able to take over the uh the robot dinosaurs and make them bend them to their will which now Aloy has figured out to, how to do of course not on everyone but we can ride the horse like ones at this point and now we have been given permission to be a seeker to go into the forbidden lands and go find some of these bad dudes and figure out what's going on so here we are these are our quests so we're supposed to go to uh, Red Echoes right now our active one and meet up with um, this one, meet up with Varl and Sona. Uh, Sona is the leader, the war leader for the tribe, and Varl is her son. And then we also have this one, which is the main thing we're supposed to do out here. Um, but we were supposed to help her first to get her back over to the tribe so she can do her war leader stuff with them. And then we have to um, unravel the conspiracy against her. Uh, we also went into the womb of the mother, which turned out to be one of those uh, metal lands machine places. And it turns out that somehow I was left there. They think I was born of that mother, but um, uh, she thinks she was left uh, just through the door, something behind the door she couldn't get to. Anyway, and uh, we do have, uh, do we have any side quests in her mother's footsteps? Ah... Uh... Oh, we didn't finish that? Oh, we didn't return the Thok. Okay. <laughs> That's a little one we could have finished for a thousand XP. Cloning? The fiendish curs. They shall rue the day they cross the Nora. Right, the Nora is the name of our tribe. Um, yeah, some kind of cloning or some way that, yeah, I was born of the folks who had left the technology. We saw sort of an image of my mother. So 
yeah, I was either cloned or in like suspended animation for a while, or somehow she had survived to that point and put me there, or they had somehow created me as some sort of genetically engineered being in order to save the future, or <laughs> who knows? Something like that. So yeah, there's a little side quest apparent here I apparently haven't done. So for the one we're on, let me see, we are here. I had to go back to a campfire to log out. We had killed a bunch of these, these, uh, the curs, whatever they're called, the cultists over here. They're always cultists <laughs> for some reason. Uh, but we have to get up here to Red Echoes. So I did, uh, in between, I didn't play much at all, but I did figure out one thing is that I can just switch my weapons like this so that I can uh, not have to do this thingy of trying to get to the right weapon at the right time, which was kind of uh, slowing me down before. So we've got our basic hunting bow. We've got our sharpshooter bow. We've got our trip caster, which sets an electric trap wire. And then we have this rope thing I haven't used yet. The other thing is I did play with the graphic settings some in between, so they should still look almost as good but perform a little bit better. Um, I was having some stuttering in that, which may have been caused by the Steam overlay, or it uh, also is kind of just a known issue uh, with this port. So hopefully I adjusted a few things that will help with that. We shall see. Um, I could not get rid of the Steam overlay, so I had to turn it off a little bit, but if you look, squint really hard up in my upper left corner, you can see my FPS counter from Steam, which I want up there so I know. It makes me feel better. And if you really want to know, if you got really good vision and a really good DPI, you can see it. The rope deal works like the trap arrows for taming and dark and light. It seems like it, because it seems like it was putting an anchor down at my feet for that. So we got to get over there. I think we got to go up and around over here. I fast traveled to get here, which uses a bedroll. It's a consumable item. Um, and the other thing I need to figure out is uh, the uh, DPI I'm playing at is pretty good for me not moving around too jerkily. But I found that when I get into um, this mode, it's kind of slow trying to aim and if I'm trying to catch up with a running player. So I think I may bump it up one DPI. My mouse has a little button that I can press that uh, changes this little color indicator at the bottom here. It tells me what my DPI is. So I'm going to bump it up one, which means I may be a little, little less cinematic up here. But when I get into this mode, uh, when I'm aiming, I'll be, aim be able to aim a little bit quicker. I don't think there is a setting specifically for that uh, in the controls. Yeah, you can just change it, it in general. You can... Uh, have aim assist in Mount Falls Road, but that's cheating, man. <laughs> that's why mouse and keyboard, we don't need that anymore. That's for those controller guys who can't aim because they have improper equipment. <laughs> oh, shots fired. Uh, so let's see how that goes. So I'll try not to be too jerky with the mouse, but I do feel like I needed a little bit faster movement when I was trying to aim. <laughs> PC Master Race. Checking in. All right. That's supposed to be one of the big improvements. Besides the, you know, improved uh, visuals and everything, is that you can aim with the mouse, which is very difficult. Okay, so this is where we sort of ambushed the cultists. Uh, it was a little tricky. I died a few times. But uh, we're going to continue on. <laughs> And then I'll just, hopefully I remember everything from last time. As far as, as far as being able to do this stuff, I guess I'm back up where I came down from. Oh no, I'm further down. Okay. So yeah, we have to con continue to gather things. I love these conveniently placed zip lines everywhere. Blow up the boom boom. Ooh. Yeah, that was part of it. Apparently these guys have a big stash of blaze. That they're using to blow things up. And uh, we found some transmission. Where they said, okay, we've got it all stored in one place. Which, of course, Alloy is like, oh, it's all in one place? 
I'll go blow it up. <laughs> right? But they didn't expect that I could uh, receive their transmissions. Yeah, enough. And then, uh, let me see, what are the other things I need to remember? Oh yeah, we got our little V thing so we can scan some critter. Yeah. Oh, there's something up there. Okay. Yeah, those look like some scrappers. So yeah, we can use that to scan and gain little advantages and let us know what the weak spot of various creatures are. Can hide in the small in the tall room. grass. That must be the place there. Best keep an eye out around here. Indeed. Alright, we've got some big blown up place over here. But we're trying to get over there. I missed all that she said. Oh, we got some bad guys. You can use the corrupty deal on other mechano beasts. You gotta scan them or something. Yeah, so far I can only do it on the striders. There's things I need to learn, so if we know if this is a bad guy or not. Uh, let's see. We can scan a bandit thug. Yes, we can. We can uh, highlight this track. He's tagged. Oh, there's a bunch of them there. Think we can take these guys? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, you know, and I've got some abilities too. Like I've got a stealth kill. I didn't really use last time. Um, I should probably take. I guess fire arrows are okay. I have fewer of them. You can just use the regulars, I think. But I'm assuming it would be a good thing to take these bandit thugs out. This is not on my mission. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Eee. <laughs> I don't know about this. Uh, let's see. If we want to do the risky thing, uh, maybe we'd better do a little savey save. Well, we only have to go as far as that campfire. I don't think I can do a manual save if I'm not at the campfire. Let's experiment with a little takedown on this guy. Let's see, let's get out of the view of the other guys. Let's see if we have a takedown. Silent strike. Oh yeah. All right, one less bandit thug. Let's get back in the cover. Come out, and I'll make it quick. Oh boy. Yeah, we didn't really use that much last time. So let's remind ourselves actually the skills we have. So yeah, that's the silent strike. I got that, and I do have one more skill I can learn too. I was saving it up for something I don't remember. That looks a little specialized. You gotta aim while jumping or sliding, but that does allow me to get to this one where I can use ranged weapons on ropes. That's pretty cool. This leads to a strike from above. All right, saving to repair mounts. That's right. That's right. That was over here in Traveler. Uh, mounted pickup, so I can pick up stuff while I'm on the mount. This is going to get me to um, be able to repair them. These mounts are pretty cool. And then uh, these are some things I didn't get yet, but they might be good, like additional materials. So I don't have as much have to spend as much time picking up herbs. This will speed up healing. This will call a single enemy beast over, so I don't have to get them all. These I've learned. I've mainly been learning the fighting ones. So light spear stuff does lots more. And if I do a heavy attack with the light spear, um, it'll knock down machines even faster. I've got critical hits, critical hit plus, concentration slows down time while I'm aiming and uh, move faster while dealing with a heavy weapon. I was doing that actually to get to this one, which is concentration plus, uh, cause that's pretty good. I like all these, I like the range stuff in here. Cause I think she is more, of a ranged person than a melee. I mean, obviously she did all right with that guy. That was using the silent strike. Okay, so, oh, you know what? They've got some prisoners in there. So I think we may need to save them. 
All right, do we got more people about to come out here? Or what? Oh, we got a health potion. Cool, and I changed the HUD to dynamic too. I couldn't figure out how to turn the HUD off completely, but now it hides itself when it's not being shown. I've got these traps, you know, I don't, haven't used yet. I wonder how I set these. Oh, I guess like that, which I didn't mean to do right away. Can I pick it back up? <laughs> I was hoping it would equip it and I'd be able to, but it puts it down right where I am, apparently. I do not think I have grenades. If I do, I don't remember. All right, well, we've got a trap here now. <laughs> Was there anybody up here? I don't think so. Oh, there is a person. All right, let's get this. Let's try to see if we can sneak up on them. This is where it ends. Oh. Okay. Let's stay hidden. Everybody's all alerted. That was not stealthy. Okay, the, all the reds are declining, except that person can see me. We drop straight into this. Coming for you. Here we go. Oh. See if I can lure him into this trap. How dumb is the AI? Will they forget about me? You better come out. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, that was not wasted then. Ha. Oh yeah, throwing rocks, right. I didn't do enough of that last time. You definitely make use of that. Watch All right. The taste of metal. We got them off high alert. That's good. I don't think the rocks do a whole lot of damage. I think they're mainly meant to be used as a um, distraction tool. We got another health pot. Oh, I'm full. Okay, we got to increase the size of my traps and potion thing, which is uh, crafting is O, I think. Yeah, that is this one. So let's go ahead and craft that. Two. Cool. And what about this one? Traps. Sure. And we can upgrade that again, but I don't know if we need to yet. We'll wait till we can't pick something up. We can go ahead and carry more resources while we're at it. And what else can we do up? Just the just the traps and the outfits, which we don't need right now. Okay. So now we should be able to pick up this pot, right? Sweet. Always good to have some health pots. And I actually should heal a bit. I can grab stuff off the person I killed up there, but I might blow my cover again. Okay, we've got a person coming out here. Let's see if we can get their attention. Something. Get them to come over this way. Come on down, buddy. I don't know if my sharpshooter bow is stealth enough. Let's find out. That's pretty stealthy. Okay. 
Thinning them down, thinning them down. <laughs> Press F harder. <laughs> okay, so let's scan again. Oh, puppy is bumping my arm. We got one, two, three, four, five, six left. We've killed like four. Let's try for the side gate here. Headshot master. Oh man, there's a bunch more of them. Crap. There's lots. <laughs> lots and lots. Is there someone up there? I'm gonna take them out. That might be kind of far. Let's get a little closer. Saving these for the trail. I want to loot those guys, but I don't want to blow my cover. There's our prisoners. Yeah, I don't know if I meant to, uh... Take all these guys out. And not. A stealth kill. Hey, Shamel! How are you doing? Welcome. This bow is great. Make sure I got enough arrows for it. We're having a nice other session here in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Slowly taking out this bandit camp. Carefully, because there's lots of them here. That didn't seem to get anybody's attention. I'm going in. Taking them out one by one. Numbers are against us, and we got to level 11. Okay. Turn it up to 11. So who else can we get in here? Who's close? So we want to get up to those guys. We probably can go up that way. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get someone to come out over here. It's that AI thing where they, like, don't mind seeing their own corpses around. <laughs> Pretty weird. As long as they don't see me do it. Being real careful, because if they spot me, I've lost all my progress here. All right. No one else coming out. Okay, someone's coming up there. Oh, there's someone right there. They did come. And there's another. And another. A bunch of people over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over here, I see two left. Almost got it cleared out enough to go for those guys. Oh, there's the alarm. We don't want that to get set. It's ridiculous stealth kills, yeah. Alright. Let's see, we can probably safely go loot this stuff now. Hopefully. 
desert glass. Get my rocks back. I wonder if I should try going up there. There is some grass right up there. So I could actually get in. Got someone right there. Let's try one more time to get that person to come closer. You gonna come check it out? You are. I almost see your head. Or not. All right. Uh, she went that away. She went that away. <laughs> right, I think we may have to sneak up there. <clears throat> not a lot of grass. She's inside there. Is there a place for her to come out over here? Let's try. <sighs> All my rocks are in here everywhere. No, they're all staying put for the most part. The bandits imprisoned these people. I might be able to let them out. I could set off the alarm. I don't know what good that's going to do. Right, let's try this. We'll go for broke. Are you ready to move? Hold on. I'll get you out. They're going to follow me? Yep. All right, let's get them out of here. Cool. And then I think we'll head on our way. How many folks we've got down there? Oh, yeah, I got an army now. It's just, I still don't think we should take on all these guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we're getting close to it. Let's keep moving along here. Let's see how helpful these guys are. Are there more prisoners? Deceased human, deceased human. I don't see any more hum prisoners. I don't even have a mission for this. There's probably a mission I could have picked up later and got more credit for it. Hopefully, hopefully this game is uh, good about giving me credit for this kind of stuff. Okay, we can see some people here. The other guy doesn't even notice. You can see them. They can't see you. Man down! Oh, well, she's dodging. She did. Oh. Okay. Get 
get you. Yeah. It's harder when they're moving. Yeah, how we doing? I see one person. Way up there. We might have this. I slow down time when I aim. With my bow. Yeah, the purple... No one here. Bodies show up as purple splotches. Yeah, we've got one more person to lure out there at least. These guys did pretty good. The one survivor in there thinks it's all over, I guess. <laughs> Let's get that person and I think we're done. Coming down steady as a gunboat. Yeah, see those purple splotches? All supply crates. Ancient debris. Yeah, we got we gotta finish this last person and loot this place. Where are they at? There. And that was the alarm. <laughs> Fat lot of good it did. Okay. One more bandit thug still. See him. I'm out. All right, use my last arrow on him. <laughs> yeah, don't mind all those dead bodies around. You did it. Cleared the bandit camp. Got a little cutscene and everything. Seeker, may I speak with you? You may. I can stop hiding now. I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. 
never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. Okay, well, farewell. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. I agree. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Absolutely. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You. It's funny that I get to uh, determine to that. Thank you. All right. Now, can I do my looting? Oh, the other one is a... Um, great, the other one's a merchant. We're settling in. Oh, no, no. I never, never thought want to I'd do get you anything again. of use from the bandits. I wanted to talk to the merchant. I should be on my way. Thank you for making this possible. He's so grateful. Here we go. So let's uh, sell what we got, and then we'll go uh, get some more. So, yeah, we're going to sell multiple of these. Boop. And then just selling the stuff that we can't craft with. That can craft items. That can't. So we'll sell it. The machine core. Uh, boop. And same with these. Sell multiple. And sell multiple. Hopefully I'm riding this and won't regret it, but that's what it says. And boop. Boop. Okay. And uh, we're getting up there. We got 558 shards. Does he have any weapons we don't have? He's got a spear. Well, we've got a spear. We've got that. We've got that. We've got that. Okay, so he doesn't have anything we don't have. We may have some more stuff to sell to him in just a moment. Bunch of goodies in there. Don't have to kill any of these guys now. Oh yeah, let's do a little savey save. Woo! Oh, we might be crashing here. <laughs> we might be crashing. Luckily, hopefully that save took. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, let's loot this place. Because we earned it. Our rocks back. Glad we used them well this time. Thank you for the reminder on that, Arali. I got one of these dummy horses. All right, but really, what we want is the uh, war chests. Which hopefully, these guys have not looted yet. The last person I killed. Desert glass. Metal shards. We're making monies here. Got another shock trap. This stuff makes noises. Many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. They were talking smack about me before. Now they likes me. There's one there. That's just a training dummy. Campfire. Bandit. Oh, there's a deceased thug. I still got a loot. Okay. Didn't loot all the dead people yet. Got some goodies. Ancient. Uh, debris. Ancient bright bracelet. Hmm. What's up with that? <coughs> Honestly, I didn't think I was going to be able to clear this whole place out, but, uh, a little stealth. A little carefulness. Okay, that's just animals. Where's those other bodies I didn't get yet? There's one. Oh no, that's just sticks. 
And going down here. Yep. Okay, anybody else? Doop. Oh, there's another one up there. Okay, there's still a bunch I didn't get. Looks like there was one over here too. Or not. Oh yeah, and there's the one up in the tower too. Let's get that one. Bandit sniper. That might be her. She probably fell down. Yep. Alright, did I get all the goods? Training dummy. There's one right there. Can we mark it? No. No ammo. This isn't good. Oh. Let's make some ammo. What am I missing? Wire. I guess we'll buy some wire off, dude. Well, let me just check one more time. There's one up there. Can we get up there? Okay, and there was one a little further out. If we don't get every bandit thug, it's not the end of the world. But, um... Get some wire off, dude. Wire's cheap. Let's get like ten of them. Okay. Oh, need more wire. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> you can really start spinning there. Okay. And we should probably get a bit more. We'll get it once we start killing cr critters again. I guess we got to steal some robots. Let's get like 20. I don't know if that's the best use of my shards, my money, but uh, I don't want to lose the ability to make arrows. That's pretty important. Human. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can head on. Let's do one last savey save at that campfire now that we've done all the looting so we don't have to redo that ever. Where did that campfire go? There it is. Okay, save. And go. Alright, on to our actual quest. Still quite a distance that way. I guess a watcher kill out there. These always seem to come in threes. The snow's got a bite out here. Check things out. Got one, two. Not sure where the th oh, there's the third. No, I just see two. 
Okay. Well, I'm sure if there's a third, it'll show itself. Hey, look down. So if you sprint while crouched, it takes you out of the sprint. We're gonna make good use of that silent strike. Never had a chance. We're already getting a bunch of wire. That's fine. We're gonna be rich by the end of this. Probably should collect more meats and stuff too as we go along. Well, a bunch of scrappers up there. Tearing stuff up. Yeah, we'll let them be for now. There's going to be no lack of uh, robot dinosaurs to kill in here. Oh no. What are those? Grazers. Right, those are the things, the reindeer like ones we had to kill as part of the proving. Oh, there's a strider. Let's grab one of those for a mount, eh? When did I get that other point to get this? I did. Let's get that now. Cool. Let's get us a mount. Gonna have to sneak up on it. Get down. Woo, got it just in time. Nice. We got us a mount now. We got a horsey. So let's save with the horsey. <laughs> cool. And we have the ability to pick up things while we're on the horsey. What's that? Do we know those things? Is that like a sawtooth? I don't seem to be able to scan it from here. Whoa there! Fire bellow back. Okay. Weakness. Body strength. So I think if I go into a notebook now. No, I don't know it yet. Oh, wait. Sawtooth. Fire bellow back. Swollen with volatile liquid cargo, it can spray streams of its cargo to engulf enemies. Okay. Weakness is freeze, so we don't want to... Oh, the blaze canister is fire and tear. Okay. I'm not sure if we could go for, should go for that thing or not. It's got a couple watchers around it. Alright, maybe we shouldn't go for every opportunistic dino kill we see. Party, little plant. You'll doesn't help. seem to be any lack of them. Especially not necessarily a big new beast. Because we could be hunting everything along the way. We will 
pick up the kills. Indeed. I did just save. What, you want me to go for it? If you want me to go for it, I'll go for it. Check it out. Let's leave our mount here. They're a little tricky than to use. Ah, Road right into that. Oh god. Okay, there's that guy. <laughs> oh, you're not dead. Now you are. Okay, now you are. Yeah, you have to press the dodge key to stop them. It's a little unintuitive, but we'll get it down. At least I know what the key is now. Red Eye Watcher. Did you get injured at all? No, I think you're good. Okay, so let's go back and check on this thing. It was over here, Summers. There it is. Okay. So it looked like I needed to use fire on that thing. Oh, it's just a regular arrow, huh? And we've got these watchers here. Maybe we should take them out first. So let's use our snipey snipes again. Maybe we should do the silent strike on them. Get up close enough. See how this goes. I'm all crouched over myself. <laughs> okay. Licking. I did have its eye pointed right at me for a second there. All right, toss the rock. They know about me? They know about me. Woo. <laughs> I didn't wasn't sure if I could do that stealth like or not. Oh god. Shoot. Yeah, he's pretty tanky. Let's try that with a fire arrow next time. See if that does more towards blowing him up. Some distance. Oh, there's more. Crap. <laughs> there's more of them. Specific weaknesses. Yeah, it said. It said. Uh, I thought it said just regular arrow. Let me see. It was these guys. Right, so the. The blaze canister weakness was fire and... Oh, that's down there. The body, the weakness... Oh, this is the wrong thing. Wrong thing. Uh-oh. This guy. Here we go. Cargo sack. Weakness was all. 
And then below is a blaze canister that's fire. The body is freeze, which we don't have. And then the gullet is all. Okay, so it seems like maybe we should move to this one and get some uh, fire. <laughs> I did. I did, Bechamel. What were you doing? He was making to me a mug cake. Nice. I want some. I can get out of this. I'm gonna get this. Oh, oh god. For science. <laughs> Oh, lit fire is hurt. Okay, good to know. Let's see if we can get some cover going. So much data. Yeah, we're gonna have to change to the health potions. Okay, yeah, extra herbs do show up in my medicine pouch later. Pretty heavy duty, man. I don't think I am equipped for this. Oh, God. Yeah, I've barely damaged that thing. Yeah, this thing's a tank, man. All right, it's forgetting about me. I mean, look how little damage I've done, and I've been trying to shoot at that weak spot. Probably was like, yeah, I'll take it. You just saved. Science. Calm, calm. Done. All right, sneak up and corrupt it. I doubt we can. I doubt we can. Tiny meat.
Okay. Go quietly. Be mad. <laughs> Trying to get him from behind. He seems to know where I am. I don't think we can corrupt it. He got radar. <laughs> he got radar. He doesn't know about us now. Yeah, he's quite tanky. Get down. All right, we're out. <laughs> we're out. <laughs> Horsey. Didn't loot this watcher over here, I think, that I killed. Get it while I can. Definitely more juice. Oh, we got someone to take down here. Yeah, I think that silent strike only works on smaller things. I don't see that working on that big beastie. I'll find a use for you. Yeah, we need to gear up better for that big guy. Or else just have a lot of time to kill. Probably got some good loot once he dies. Probably get a ton of blaze off of him. <laughs> <laughs> 